Yeah, that left it too. Ooh. Ooh, 14 hours ago, I had my second jab. Today, I have a fucking serious flu. What a surprise. Fucking failure, mate. Fucking failure. These things should not be out there. Just because uh, little cunts want to go nightclubbing again and uh, fucking get a bit of knobbing done. Fucking assholes. They don't even deserve their fucking wages, mate. Never mind fucking... Yeah, anyway. As you can tell, I'm in a great mood. Great mood. So, perhaps today is uh, not the best day to play Hades Nebula. Well, I certainly remember the music of this game. And actually uh, the graphics as well. And the difficulty. But I couldn't... I couldn't close my eyes and visualise any, any particular instance, you know, where I was playing this back then in the 80s. Mm, anyway, oh, yeah, it's uh, plenty of tea today, obviously. Very little attention to the cats, the poor bastards. As long as I remember to close and open the correct door so the two cats that want to kill each other are not actually in the same room or able to even get into the same room. Yeah, I woke up uh, 12 hours after having the second jab. And I was like, here we go again. So, just... And flu amplifies all the crap like backache, joint aches, rubbish uh, remix. Nice, the picture was nice on this game, I remember that. Let's try and find the uh, CRT glasses without having a fucking 18 rated bit of commentary. Where the fuck are they? Oh no, the CRT glasses were used yesterday to protect my eyes from filthy COVID uh, spit. I couldn't believe it. There was people going for the vaccine uh, that didn't have a fucking a face mask on. These people are scum. Like I said, today's episode pff, might have to add 1 out of 10. Maybe 2 out of 10 for every score I give. Because, I tell you in advance, the second time you have a bad reaction to this stupid vaccine, which only protects you from 1 out of 4 variants, fucking millennial failures. Yeah, no, that's really gonna... Yeah. I don't, I don't actually like being harsh on uh, games on any system there is nothing I would like more than to try new games and either remember how awesome they were or even more awesome than I remember or find new games that are like oh man I really wish I had that and that applies equally you know to the Famicom as well as the C64 to the Amiga, as well as the Mega Drive, definitely the SNES. A fucking, there's only about three original games on the SNES, if you can call them that. Imagine the year is 2124. You have outlived the millennial cocksuckers. Yeah, anyway, see what I mean? Joystick port 2. Oh, I don't want any of that bollock. Get off. It's a shoot 'em up. You don't need a story for a shoot 'em up, mate. You wasted your time typing that shit out. Right, high score music loops. That's the interesting one. 
So you don't have invincibility. So it's catch-22 situation. I can either test all these things on a fucking Windows PC with an emulator looking at something that is not remotely like a CRT even if you have a CRT filter on it. There's nothing like a CRT. You know, clicking a little box on a Windows application doesn't magically change the way you know, luminances and colours are created on a CRT. And then on top of that, you've got Sony, possibly Panasonic, Quintrix, uh, compared to things like Ferguson, Philips, Bang & Olufsen, which are Philips, stuff like that, which um, the blues are much weaker on those CRTs. Some people might say the Sony and the Panasonic blues are too strong, sir. Yeah, look, let's just go with no, no, no. Uh, why would I listen? To it? Yeah, just no. High score saver. Well, you should ask that first, mate. No wonder there's no fucking invincibility. Crack! Uh, yeah, we, we don't want that. So. so, the music, I remember the music. See, I can't actually remember. Uh, if I had this when I had my uh, Triumph television, this is like the cheapest TV money could buy around Christmas 1982 time. We still wasn't cheap. I'm sure my Vic 20 and a uh, colour portable TV cost as much as a, a C64 uh, on its own. I think they're about 300 quid when I swapped it over. Hey. These glasses are not great. They're even worse than having regular glasses with plastic lenses. These are pound shop ones. You know, I've got a better pair. They're not dirty, they're like, for some reason, maybe they just get scuffed. Because it, it's kind of like, they give you a hazy effect. Maybe I should play Lotus too. If the fucker loads. Right. Now, I was actually going to play uh, Law of the West, but... I'm not going to ruin that experience by playing it today. Right, I've got my own rapid fire if you're too stingy to give me one. But I would have had a quick shot turbo to play this. So. Oh no! Right, luckily on the zip stick, if you hold down the fire button while you've got rapid fire on it, it stops firing. Oh no, now there's nothing to pick up. Need to get a pickup again. And so you can blow up your own power ups, that's bollocks. So that annoys me now. Right, fuck you. We're having maximum fucking power up because you're a fucking prick. Oh, not again. Fuck off. Motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Right. So that's a fucking shit idea. You can blow up your own fucking... Again, realism. So you blow the top off a hatch of a silo. Some shit floats up that would stick to your craft and make it better. But if you keep shooting, you can blow it up and destroy it. Like I said, if I want that realism bollocks, I'll go and buy the fucking wanker special Xbox O-N-E, as I'm going to call it. I'm not going to call it Xbox One. The Xbox One came out just after the PS2, mate. 
That's a fact. Now, nah, great, I'm probably going to lose a hearing in one of my ears. Man. Wish I'd finish the bathroom now. Fuck's sake. Who wants to fucking uh, stand up having a shower when you've got a fucking flu? Bollocks. The only advantage with this uh, shit from this millennial quality vaccine I've got is you can still smoke. You don't get a sore throat or anything from it. Unlike some of my ex girlfriends, isn't it? Yeah, topical as ever. Right, let's uh, get a bit more of uh, what little sunlight there is. It's absolutely miserable day today. So it's really unusual that I'm in this mood because this is the best weather in the world. I was thinking about this the other day and uh, I know that I used to like, you know, cloudy, rainy weather. I used to love it. But I had a random uh, recollection of memory. Hey, Danny, what's some biscuits, buddy? <laughs> Oh no, you have to listen to this shit remix. If you can't do the fucking music properly, you have no music at all. Fucking dumb cunts. It's going to be a great show today. A great show. What fucking show, mate? It's a bloke with a fucking uh, totally unsuitable cannon power shot. 410S, I believe, uh, pointed at a CRT screen that's uh, a bit like a 200,000 mile BMW at the moment. Luckily for you, that's a 1990s BMW, not the modern shit. Blows up as quickly as a fucking Ford or a Renault. Shit. I remember the days when uh, owning a BMW for 95% of their fucking product on sale, it was a six cylinder engine. In fact, uh, by the late 80s, all their uh, cars, except for two, were six-cylinder. Now today, you go on there and it's like fucking, if you want a six-cylinder model, it's like, oh, you must be super rich, mate. Nobody has a six-cylinder. We all have four-cylinder turbo. Listen, mate. If I went into a four-cylinder turbo in 1989, I would have got a fucking Escort RS turbo, not a BMW 325. Just fuck off. Stop cheapening the product so the fucking useless dumb shit millennials who waste all their money on Amazon on useless bullshit so they ain't got money to buy a six-cylinder BMW. BMW, innit? Fucking... The whole situation reminds me of... Uh, a well-known uh, car seller in uh, North London, Nobby and Dick's Used Car Emporium. We actually went there once. My mate had jeans on. He leant against the uh, 1980s BMW 5 Series. Ah, the original one. You know, it's like early 80s. And the guy went fucking ballistic. He said, uh, he's going to scratch the paint. You can scratch the metallic paint with your stud. I was like, fuck off, you look like a reject out of fucking wrong turn. Fuck you, mate. And I don't mean all the male bimbos in that shit. Different flavours of male bimbo. You've got a very Arabic sort of uh, male bimbo. And then you've got the, the actual, you know, all-American hero underdog male bimbo. So, uh, yeah, let's hope I can find a fucking lighter. Definitely going to be one of them days. Good thing uh, I don't have to do the dustbins this week. Because uh, I'll probably forget. It's basically like being underwater. I'm playing C64 games underwater with the ability to uh, just about breathe. So we ain't lost the CRT glasses either. Just 
actually just got our gloss a fucking lighter. I don't believe it. Where's the fucking lighter gloss? Well, it was here, and now it's not there. What an asshole. This is not good, because I can't find any of the lighters at the moment. It's not that I can't find one. Where the hell are they? It's like someone has come in and nicked all me lighters. It's a disaster actually. Absolute disaster. See, normally we'd have the lighter here. Yeah, get on with it, mate. Very weird. Not even the empty lighter is here. What's going on? <clears throat> Has then you've been uh, nicking me lighters, and you think that's funny, but he does actually nick stuff. Jeez, I only need one fucking lighter, and uh, of course. Ah, Jesus Christ, this is a fucking waste. I might as well turn the fucking camera off. I'm fucking... Ah, oh, you bastard. Where is your fucking lighter? Motherfucker. There it is. So where's the other three then? That's what I don't get. Although they're uh, at the end of their fucking life. Which is something I wish every millennial not wearing a fucking face mask indoors would do. Just do the decent thing and drop dead. And maybe I'll get back uh, the two years of my pension that was stolen from me by the government. Yeah, you think the... It's crashed now. So I said yes. fuck is going on there? No. Music still sounds great, coming out of one ear. Fuck's sake. Sorry, going into one ear. I'm not going to insert that clip from Tron when the old fart is saying what you could have said was here comes nothing, here goes something. I didn't actually start the game. Hang on. So this is your full power-up system, is it? Wow, well, with everything going, there is some jerkiness. So we're down to NES quality with full power-ups. And there's no way to avoid shooting your own power-ups. But the idiot hasn't put in invulnerability. Now we could possibly put in the uh, Rob Tech Game Killer, which I did show on like, one of the videos. But uh, nah, it's not bright enough to see the uh, little uh, pale blue button on it. Got, so. Let's see so if you've got unlimited lives and it doesn't put you back, well that's a positive. I should change the name of the channel to Flu Rhythm Retro. Oh, actually, it might put you back. Let's, uh... So the diagonal one is a bit awkward. It's not, not great collision detection. So, yeah, there's no way to collect the power-ups when you've got full power-ups. But then we've got full power-ups, I suppose. Ooh, nice bit of parallax. So, this is a well programmed game, it's just some of the design decisions. Now, I do remember this game being difficult, but I wouldn't have specifically known that's because some fucking dumb shit made some of the uh, game design decisions. Yeah, you don't get put back. So, it must be a character based screen. 
because the only reason you'd have turquoise with uh, two shades of grey is because you stuck with the first eight shit BBC Micro uh, colours in the palette of the C64 fuse that night. But they're doing parallax. It is a single load. Uh, they should really have uh, the joysticks upside down. It's not my fault, sir. Uh, they should really have let you uh, swap between sound effects and music while the game is running. But the music is really nice, I have to say. And uh, apart from uh, some of the colour choices, like, uh, you know, why not have blue, grey, blue and light blue? The turquoise just looks stupid. Looks like some fucking 80s fashion victim has come along with some garish fucking nail varnish and painted your C64 graphics. And by that analogy, if Mini Doggy is a woman, and I'm not sure, then uh, she didn't wear nail varnish because uh, the graphics on uh, Law of the West and uh, Sci Fi trading company or PSI if you want to say it like that those graphics are not garish in fact Law of the West is on the NES and actually it shows just like uh, oh look at that slow dash terrible yeah Law of the West on the NES don't look as good as Law of the West on the C64 and you're thinking, how comes? Well for a start, the C64's got a higher resolution than the NES. 25% higher resolution actually. Even though the chipset is two years older, technically. Vic 2 and Sid obviously came out in 1982. Now I could just pretend to be playing this instead of just smoking, just by randomly moving, you know, the controller. Which is what I'm doing now, it makes no difference to me. Oh, I wanted to see what I done. Oh, you bastard. Power ups don't stay on the screen after you die. Again, they should have been in the arcades playing Salamander before writing a shoot em up. Like saying, I'm going to design a new sports car. Let me go and drive the uh, mid 80s Toyota Corolla around the test track. And then I can, yeah, no, it don't work like that, mate. Gonna drive a new sports car. It should be the uh, 1986 M3 at least. And then you can design a good sports car because you've driven a good sports car. Actually, even in uh, Gradius, when you lose a life, the power-ups don't disappear. So yeah, I mean, uh, we've had two lots of yellow, brown and orange and one lot of turquoise, medium and dark grey. So I just really want to see more of the graphic. I told you, it's going to be a terrible show today. I've got fucking zero patience for anything today. And now the music is ringing in my ears. Thank God for remote control. You can hear more of my uh, sweet, dulcet tones, comments, whatever. I'm just waiting for the turquoise. Oh, it's red this time. Fucking hell. That is a hell of a lot of slowdown. That's, you know, badly coded Amstrad Spectrum. Sort of slow down on the shoot em up. Now that we uh, So he's kind of like Star Force actually on the later levels. The first level is sort of like, yeah, a bit Terra Cresta wannabe, I guess, over the uh, muddy desert, possibly. See, this time they've gone for blue, white and uh, light blue 
Actually, they didn't have to choose blue. They could have cho chosen dark grey. Only one of those uh, three colours there is actually uh, colours 9 to 16 in the uh, C64 palette. But that looks better than uh, dark grey, medium grey, turquoise. Much better, actually. I think that's actually the first thing I uh, learned on the C64. Yeah, which colour combinations gave you nice base relief graphics. Because, uh, again, we shot the power up, which could have been phenomenal. And I could have said, uh, oh, this is so good, I'll give it 9 out of 10. But unfortunately, not. it's a very difficult shoot em up. But not because it's been designed to be a difficult one. Because of noob design decisions, you see. For fuck's sake, see, shooting all the power-ups is a stupid idea, absolutely stupid. Don't play that anymore. Would I stub me uh, roll up out on the tape? No, it's not that bad, and I never used to smoke until uh, turn of the century, mate. Oh, shit, I've got ringing in my ears now. Bollocks. How am I going to rate the soundtracks on the games? How? This shit second jab fucking bullshit technology, biotech. It's, uh, it's ruining my channel even more now. Let's see, what time is it? Half eight. And I guess this has to be called the uh, Dawn of Commodore bullshit. Although Dawn was about... 5 foot 11, yeah anyway. Right, so Nexus did some other games, most of them are shit though. Now uh, Blazer is another shoot em up that Nexus did. You know, the people who made Hades Nebula. Now yeah, if I could somehow get uh, the number 6 into the video, we could call it Dawn of Commodore square bracket 64 I have to put that down bullshit dash uh, nexus 6 so I don't think we're going to squeeze 6 games in there it's already 27 minutes hey it's probably only a, one, uh, 55 minutes of uh, battery time left load quicker man nah that that's a standard thing I don't mark anything down for that Ah, speaking of uh, marking someone down, have you seen that prick on eBay? He's, uh, what he's done, he's bought some uh, C15 tapes, probably for about, you know, £1.50 each. Although, why wouldn't you use C30s? I don't know. And he's copied about 15 Commodore 64 PRG files. Um... And saved them using something called Turbo Tape 64, which is what was the system used on the cassettes that someone gave me that had uh, loads of cartridge games on it Popeye, Star Wars, uh, Pole Position, International Soccer was on there. I didn't have the International Soccer cartridge, and uh, Commodore never released it on tape, so uh, legally. And, uh, yeah, so you can work out that that wasn't an original copy. So, but I still would have loved international soccer. Even if it was like 15 quid. 15 quid was half the price. 15 quid was something you'd pay for a, a shit VCS game. Like Air Sea Battle or Circus Atari. See if this train is any better. Ah. All right, trainer means unlimited lives then, does it? You fuck. Press fire to fuck, that's what it said. I bet they were barely uh, into puberty when they cracked this. But the Nexus uh, logo is actually in the top and bottom border, so you can't actually see them now, see? see? Now I've moved the bloody camera, so. 
No, right, right, one of those games is it. It's like Gallagher on a, some insanely difficult fucking start level. Jesus Christ. Now we've got a bit of centipede in the shoot em up. And then finally some fucking graphics appear. These are odd choices. Very odd. So they've gone with... Hang on, where's my fucking CRT glasses? The backup ones, what have I done with the bastard things? Oh, you arsehole. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I guess uh, really bad flu also fucks up my memory. Uh, these glasses are even worse. But I do believe that's just white, light blue, and uh, I'm not sure if there's two shades of grey now. I have to see two shades of grey next to each other on the graphics. These glasses, it's even harder to tell. Where the hell did I put my uh, backup CRT glasses? Why didn't they put these in the border up there? I mean, if your shoot map is too fucking difficult to bother playing on my channel, then clearly, if you know how to put shit in the border, then. Uh, why not do it for the fucking status panel and score and all that shit? Well, let's get these fucking things off. Yeah, no, that is just uh, dark grey, light blue and white. Uh, I never realised how medium blue, light blue is on the C64. Yeah, anyway, that's enough of uh, checking out the graphics. So they make the games insanely difficult, right? And they don't even give you built-in auto-fire. So it's very similar to Hades Nebula. Uh, probably designed by the same idiot. And I don't mean coded, I mean designed. Because you have to... Uh, fight. So this time's a bit of asteroids in the shooter mode. So I've had centipede asteroids, a bit of Star Force knock-off with some terrible design decision. I don't think there's any mother ships. Oh, I wonder why they went that colour. Because those colours are not here. Oh, they could be sprites, I guess. Your ship doesn't look great. It looks like some fucking, uh, you know, sprite in a free sprite bank with laser basic or something. But the other stuff, some of it's all right. And, uh, you know, the background graphics. Uh, four colour character mode aside, gripes, which I'll always have. Don't like this mode. It'd be like someone saying to you, uh, would you like to keep the use of your legs or would you like me to smash your fucking kneecap so you never walk again? And you saying, Oh yeah, actually, why don't you just cripple me and, uh, you know, take take the uh, facility of being able to walk away from... Yeah, that's what using the uh, one kilobyte character-based multicolor mode. It's the worst fucking mode on the C64. Absolute worst. That's uh, about the same as the old uh, original 1979 Atari. Computer that is not VCS. Yeah, we've seen enough. It's just too, too fucking difficult. So there's some things there. So what the hell's going on? I don't even know if I'm getting any power ups. Are there any power ups? So again, it's a waste of coding talent. And uh, so they can have a, a static parallax. Starfield layer underneath the graphics. They've used the shit character basement. Next. Uh, I think there is actually a Nexus game called Nexus. Oh, no, I, again with a fucking... Right, I'm not playing any more shoot em ups now. Fuck me. The old uh, ringing in the ears is getting annoying now. Yeah. Guess we're going to be having carrot soup today. 
followed by broccoli soup uh, probably make some um, uh, vegan uh, stuffed macaroni shells only because I've got to use up the bloody aubergines in it you get onions in there yeah and if I have some fried chopped tomatoes with that because the tomatoes are already going off yeah that would be actually five of my five a day although I try to have at least seven a day and that means different things and in total ten a day so yeah, yeah these are a bit weird like that Shall we stick with the Nexus directory? We might as well, this might as well be Nexus 4. <laughs> Which is shit. It's not as good as the Nexus 6. Mod. There you go. I guess that's what we're calling it. Nexus 4. <laughs> now, I would like to go and make a cup of tea. Oh, fuck me, the camera's really fucked up there. And uh, I don't want to stitch the files together. It takes fucking ages. Bit of a dilemma here. I hope this game is worth it. <coughs> well, the ringing in my ears doesn't stop me hearing the cat meow quietly there which you may or may not have heard on the rubbish microphone on this camera now I did find some uh, video camcorders you know modern ones uh, that will do 1080p I can't remember if they said 50 or 60 probably would be 50 because uh, even American LCD TVs have to support 25 frames per second because uh, the movie business movies are not released on Blu-ray at 60 frames per second they, they still play back at the original 24 frames per second mm. in some British films 25 so they do have to support it unlike in the CRT years so Yeah, they're about 200 quid, them cameras. I'm not impressed by that screen. And that's sitting uh, about four feet away. With loads of haze. Oh, yeah, they don't really look any better. Although they do look more retro when I cut out the glare. From the light hitting the uh, front of these glasses. I've polished the shit out of these glasses. I'm not a dirty bastard. It's got nothing to do with that. They need to be actually polished with something slightly abrasive. Possibly, uh, I don't know, toothpaste might do it. I've seen people try uh, restoring the uh, headlamp plastic covers with them. I have to use the uh, space bar. So that's a 1986 game. Fuck off Nazis, kill skinheads, anarchy. What the hell is that all about? I've got no idea. Yeah, come on. Please, just get past your stupid message. So there's no lights on on the SD to IEC. Absolutely. All right, right. Okay. Put a message up, you fucking dumb cunt. Equip droid. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on then. All right, that is it. Great. SD to IEC failure. Flashing red light. So I might as well do one more. And uh, stop the camera. Make a T. And then do some uh, games from Synapse. Uh, there may have been other Nexus games, but they're not games I would have liked. Oh God, one of my cats is trying to get in now. 
Hey! Hey, me. Don't open the door. No. Hey. She's on the blob again, which means uh, she likes to be in the same room as me. <sighs> which is uh, slightly out of uh, sequence for her. And she was in a extra friendly sort of mood. Uh, I think it was about a week and a half ago, actually. And she's been doing this for uh, two days, yeah. So it's about a week and a half. Don't know what's going on. <sighs> I hope you see. We haven't played any good games today. Any. Trying to think whether I've got the energy to find all the uh, guff that goes with a PS2. I found a PS2, but I need to find the. Oh, hang on, I think the SCART cable for the PS2 is upstairs for some reason. Um, but I need to find uh, GTA San Andreas. The copy that loads, I've got two copies, one scratched. Uh, and also, you know, the action replay cheats disc for uh, GTA San Andreas. Hmm. Actually, once the plasma's been on for like, ooh, maybe half an hour, it's like having a third radiator in that room. That needs bleeding, but uh, still a radiator. These graphics corrupt. Oh, okay, they're not corrupt. They're just a bit shit. Yes, uh, isn't that weird? That's kind of like Metro Cross. Can I can I not go that way? See, I'm not sure now. Oh, that looks like it's a dead end. <coughs> right, okay. So you can only go one way then. There's no trainer options on this. This could be a very quick review. He's pointing that way to start with. Okay, so high, so Nexus did highly annoying games, so there's that. And that's Nexus Software by Mad Commodore. <laughs>